Hi, I'm Asif Khan. I'm a solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. And today I'll walk you through setting up your first CI CD pipeline using Amazon ECS, Amazon ECR, and AWS developer tools. Amazon EC2 Container Service is a highly scalable, high performance management service that supports containers and allows you to easily run applications on a managed cluster of Amazon EC2 instances. Amazon ECS eliminates the need for you to install, operate, and scale your own cluster management infrastructure. Amazon EC2 Container Registry is a fully managed container registry that makes it easy for developers to store, manage, and deploy Docker container images. Amazon ECR is integrated with simplifying your development to production workflow. The AWS Developer Tools is a set of services designed to enable developers and IT operations professionals practicing to rapidly and safely deliver software. Together, these services help you securely store and version control your application's source code and automatically build, test, and deploy your application to AWS or your on-premise envi environment. You can use AWS Code Pipeline to orchestrate an end-to-end -end software release workflow using these services and third-party tools or integrate each service independently with your own existing tools. In this example, we will demonstrate how to provision an ECS cluster, build the underlying infrastructure such as ECS compute nodes, ECR, VPC. We'll also demonstrate how to build a pipeline using CloudFormation code pipeline to control the development workflow, code build to build an image and deploy the image to ECS. We log into AWS console at console.aws.amazon.com and go to CloudFormation and enter the master template URL. We launch a stack from the reference architecture. The reference architecture is available at GitHub. In this reference architecture, we are using multiple stacks to provision the VPC, ECS infrastructure, and the build pipeline. So let's launch the stack. Let's give the stack a name. I'm going to call it MXNet West. I'm going to click Next again and give my CloudFormation permissions to create IAM roles with custom names. And I'm going to say Create. Let's switch over to US East 1. We see four stacks. The first stack, the MXNet API, is the master stack which coordinates the other stacks as they, as they get built. The build stack builds the build pipeline, which is deploying code pipeline, code build, and other services. VPC builds the underlying VPC infrastructure, and the ECS stack builds the ECS artifacts like services, task, and the cluster itself. The VPC stack has provisioned VPC and subnets. The build stack has provisioned a pipeline using CloudFormation, use code pipeline to control development workflow, code build to build an image, and deploy the image to ECS. So let's switch over to the code pipeline and check the workflow. The CloudFormation stack for the build pipeline created us a build pipeline in code pipeline. Let's look deeper into the code pipeline that was built. We have two actions in the code pipeline. One is the source action, which pulls code from AWS commit, uh, code commit repository. And the second action is the build action, which builds it using code build. Let's navigate to the code commit repository and check the content. Some of the key things to note are the Docker file. The Docker file defines, defines the dependencies needed by my application and how to build the image and provision my deep learning API. In this Docker file, I'm installing the dependencies needed for MXNet, uh, library MXNet, Flask, and finally, my application. I'm also specifying the launch configuration for this API. Let's switch over to the build spec YAML file. This file specifies the build steps needed. Here I define the pre-build post build and build configuration. In this example, I'm building a Docker image and pushing the image to ECR using AWS API via scripting and not plugins. Let's step into the build step. Code build, which is a managed service, provisioned the build server and has executed the pre-build, build, and post build step. This has also pushed the image to ECR. In the ECR, we had earlier created a repository called ML test repo through our CloudFormation template. This repository has the latest image that code build pushed. You can define permissions for ECR for the actions as such as get image, push image, against principles from AWS IAM. Let's take a look at the ECS cluster and the artifacts created inside it. We have a cluster with one service running inside it. Let's take a look at the service. The service is running one copy of the task and is behind an application load balancer and is using dynamic port mapping via target group. 
the task has a container running on port 5000 mapped to port 80 on the ALB. It uses the container image we pushed. So let's see the end result of all this. I'll go back to CloudFormation and get our endpoint, which was deployed, which in this case is listed as the ECS ALB. Let's open Postman and try to call the API. We are sending a picture of a bridge, which is a suspension bridge, and we are hoping for an answer from the machine learning API deployed that this is a suspension bridge. So let's see what it tells us. And it tells us with 62% accuracy that this is a suspension bridge. Let's switch over to US West to Oregon, where we initially kicked off the stack. The build is complete, and the new API has been deployed. Let's look at the build logs. The build has been pushed, and the new API can be tested. We've seen how Amazon ECS, ECR, and AWS developer tools make it easy to set up a completely managed continuous deployment pipeline in the cloud, which provides you development agility. Thanks for watching.